Congress Legislature Party leader Okra Bibobi expresses concern over decline in freedom of media and judiciary in India. Locals destroy poppy plantations on Hailing Mall Hill Range. Combined team also destroy poppy plantation at the Gamnon and the Kulen in Kangkopi district. And residents of Charangcheng Kuno village demand completion of road repair from Chandil to Palel to Langangcheng. Good evening and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News and I'm Premi Thangcham bringing you the top stories and latest news at this hour. Congress Legislature Party Leader Okram Ibobi expresses concern over de declined in freedom of media and judiciary in the country. He was speaking on the occasion of 138th Foundation Day of Indian National Congress today. Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee, MPCC, organized observance at Congress Bhavan in Imphal. Okrami Bobi said, democracy in India lies in uncertainty on the backdrop of various restrictions being imposed on judiciary and media under the BJP government. MPCC President K. M. Ghachandra late in hoisting the party flake during the observance. Speaking on the occasion, K. Meghachandra said gaining power or losing in politics is natural and expressed hopes that Congress will come to power in Manipur in the next election. He expressed firm belief that Bharat Joro Yatra initiated by Congress leader Rahul Gandhi will bring a huge change in the Indian political system. CWC member Gai Khangam, former presidents of MPCC office bearers and Party workers attended the program. Attendees paid homage to departed members of the party. largest democracy, the most successful democracy. Democracy dictatorship BJP democracy 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 Congress party na to the cause of the welfare of the nations. Madhu punamakto shoydana Rahul ji na amuk mangphau na halagani. Volunteers of civil society organizations in Pailing Mall Hill Range area, along with local, destroy illegal poppy plantations on the slope of Filing Mall Hill Range. The Hill Range under Mapopolis Station, which is around 60 kilometers away from Imphal, is in Kangpopi district. A villager, Jampu Kongsai, complained that some miscreants had secretly planted the poppy plants in the area, ignoring the repeated pleas of CSOs and village head not to cultivate poppy. Stating that most poppy cultivators are poverty stricken, he said they have not received any assistance from the government despite its assurances to provide an alternative source of livelihood for poppy cultivators. Jampu Kongsai appreciated the relevant police officer in charge for encouraging locals to destroy poppy plantations. A hoigi, Ningtong Mayam Sing Se, Parani, Haiduna, Old Old Toaba, a hoigi area da Mapo O Si, a mam Nasu Nanguina, Masito, the Baya, the Ningtong Mayam Sek and the Baya, the Haibaduda, Paria Mayam, Haibadi Kunza Mayam Karani, Luka Prokana, Taramba, Bote or Asu, a hoim, Hing the Baya de, Ningtok and the Baya de, Haiduna Tugzabani, a sing Nabada, Ningtogi, Maran Lija de, Mahoina di, Tingu. Tingibani, Donu, Haina Tobani, Osina Suyan Talu, Doganu, Hai Hibani, Adubo, Hindaya, the Bunina Toram Baduda, Ning Tosing, Maran Lite, Hajaning Ibani. 
combined team has destroyed around 30 acres of poppy plantations on the hill slopes of B. Gamnom in NP Kulin of Kangpokpi district. The team comprising of forest department officials and BSF personnel led by Imphal East District, Police SP and NAB SP destroyed the poppies. Taubal Dam Police Station has registered a case. Residents of Charang Cheng Kunau village today urged the relevant departments to complete construction of the road from Chandel Palil to Lengang Cheng. Speaking to media, a village secretary of Charang Cheng Kunau, Sungnem Dharmi said the road leading to Lengang Cheng from Chandel Palil was constructed under Pradhan Mantri Gram Sarak Yojana scheme and according to the signboard put up on the road, the work order for the project was received in 2019 and it was supposed to be completed by January last year. However, only three kilometers of the total eight kilometer stretch of the road had been blacktopped. Dharmi said when the matter was raised to local MLA and relevant authorities on several locations, they would temporarily start the work for a few days, but would never complete. <laughs> เอาไปอ่ะบ่นงักตถาเรดเอาจึกสักติมานเจ็ดปะดะกาลีเจ็ดปะดะลอยผุกโดกระกระโคงนะชอินไบคอยยามไว้อนาเยกเลยกว่า
Kendana independent bang with Jinana, Barat ki uji PGPK economy number one way of Toreva. Baratna PGP economy the Amen Gle Hurever. Barat ki Prajak Koji Chabura, Kutati Matakale with Kangaredi, Shinmi Kangaredi, Mayam with Baraski di Kamuru for Kahedi, Nitaji Savasandra Boski, Pijan Jinatan Yaroi, Abijay, Nagendro Modi Masabana, Luchingana, Mayam Punum Ubiri to Deva. For our blood pay Hydrazo, Nitaji's vision is the right vision to save that our India had in ever. Skill, Labour, Employment and Entrepreneur Minister H. Dingo inaugurated Mega Job Fair 2022 and also unveiled Model Career Centre today. Addressing the program, Minister Dingo underlined on transforming job-seeking youths as job givers through self-employment and helping the state to progress. Directorate of Employment Imphal West Model Career Centre organized the event in association with Directorate General of Employment Government of India at the Employment Exchange Lumphill Part in Imphal West. Stalls of more than 30 companies from private sector were put up at the fair. Attracting the attention of job seekers, stalls from banking, FMCG, healthcare, hospitality, BPO, construction, IT sector, security services, customer support were opened during the mega job fair, which was attended by around 5,000 youths. <laughs> ในกลุ่มวันฮาร์ดชิลเดอร์ในเมสเซสมาพิจารณาเมื่อเช้ามาสามสามสามสามสามสามสามสามสามสามสามสามสามสามสามสามสามสามสามสามสามสามสามสาม
Subject experts who attended the workshop also stresses on the need for a land use policy in Manipur. Presentation by fellow recipients on their projects and group activities moderated by Joint Director of Environment and Climate Change, the Brajakumar marked the program. Former Minister Oinam Lukhoi has been accused of assaulting a staff of Zonal Education Office Wangoi at the office premises in broad daylight last afternoon. Family members of the victim has registered a case at Mayang Impal Police Station. The staff is 44-year-old Yumnam Nikendra, son of late Wining Tim Chow from Mayang Impal Chirai Awang Laikai. He is currently posted as Assistant Inspector in Mayang Infa, Nikendra suffered injuries on his legs and other parts of his body and is undergoing treatment at a private hospital. His elder sister, Yumna Laimahal, along with his wife, locals of Mayang Infal, Chirai Awang, Laikai, and representatives of Joint Youth Development Committee, Mayang Infal, Maitai Pangal, tried to meet Wangoi ZEO today. However, they failed to meet the ZEO. Speaking to media, Lai Mahal condemned the former minister for showing up in the office premises along with his escorts and assaulting his brother without giving a reason and demanded clarification from him. Narang hogi batang kunteres da damat office thabak chakhi bani ex minister lukhoi man madam suklai da chana i ipanu pa ji bo office da ki singtho aga ma je scotching ki taw ra phol le chok pa je ma je makhong nakan ji ma yam thi na chaw na pong khat le moi scotching da na phu ba gi da ki lukhoi ma cha na cha i pai da na ka manung ji da po chal ga ma je phu re khoi jung arang ji khudak da ta hok di thenga kan da samai taw ga so i hai ba je pau chi ta ba da ki ma gi ana ba ma ma nak ta ma yam chal ga khoi jing na ru re ma ga khoi ga nu ngai na da like moi wangoi ni khoi na myang phani madam sungcha sa di ajun man taw ri ba je mayam na athuba matam da thigat pi da ga ta chengto gon pi joint youth development committee mayang imphal maitai pangal also condemned the incident committee general secretary chesabam achauba questioned the top officers and staff of zeo office for not stopping the former minister from assaulting nikendra he demanded authorities concerned to address the matter at the earliest Ex MLA, when we can drag me with a panzer over there, when I'm looking at my school team, will I can't that? Oh, the Masamagna, which is going to question a kind of poop when I have a see. I quiz on my own, the Tamba Tazavani, of his summer, the Hitler, but me, we're heading to a guy, poop was ever summer to visit Labaxi, low later, big type of over the machine toning day. Makiman and Panam Ramtazu, Mother Tombo of Sarge, you of Hami, is with a director lady, Mother Tombo is a commissioner lady, my little departments in the Makimaran Lucari, no hypothetical legal process when it's a Pida Vida. Hector of his taking me a mabu, sing to a guy, going on me having Matagum, Sumina, Torsar to what poop was ever to visit. Masi, Tasena, Zy D Sinus condemned Tawi, Asigumba, Todo Asi, Matunga Amana, Tok the Navagi Damakta, Maile Nabar di Pamena, Amadi Manipur Sarkargi Maile Never Singa, Atumadam the investigation Toraga, Masi Asumbu Putopio. And on the note it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on coronavirus cases in India and abroad. We'll be right back. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome you all to Unaco School Channel in Fall East. An exclusive co-educational residential school located on a sprawling 50 acres campus just 24 kilometers away from Imphal City. The school will be affiliated to CBSE New Delhi. Academic session will begin on 1st April 2023 for classes 4 to 8. Presto personalized wonders, Imphal the Nauna Hangdok Chari, Heidi Basida, personalized gifts, corporate gifts, awards and mementos, home decor, office rubber stamp na chingba, potlam sing, mapamasi da pangigani, nasi maglang sing birau, tilagras enterprises, Presto, Tangal Bazaar near Kasturi Tong, Imphal. Contact number 0385-244-9025 Natraga 9862100456. Natraga 9862100456. Welcome back after the break and you're watching Primetime English News. India added 188 new COVID-19 cases and no death case in the last 24 hours. As per the latest report of Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, India's COVID-19 active case load stands at 3,468. 
Debt toll stands at 5,30,696. Over 220 crore, 6,43,000 doses of COVID-19 vaccine have been administered in India so far. Manipur did not report any positive cases of COVID-19 nor deaths in the last 24 hours. Globally, coronavirus has infected above 66 crore, 30 lakh people. It is claimed above 66 lakh, 89,000 people and recoveries are above 63 crore, 53 lakh, 86,000. USA has the highest active cases of above 18 lakh, 60,000 in the world. A lecture on emerging trends in research methodology in social sciences has been conducted at the Conference Hall of Center for Study of Social Exclusion and Inclusive Policy, Manipur University. The fortnightly lecture series aimed at guiding research students. Professor Shashikanta Nandaibam from Bath University, United Kingdom, was a resource person. Associate Professor of Center for Study of Social Exclusion and Inclusive Policy, T.H. Bharat and his colleagues graced the event. Young research scholars sing in a Makoi de Lariba, grievances sing the Makoi complaints in the Amber research, Moinato River sing the Kari research methodology, Pangani, Karamba research method applied of new social science, a high busy, Masi grievance sing the Karamakidi, Quina, see resource person, not Takbiramba ideas, message sing the Quina, Masi Hiragam, stay the Quina, Moigi, PhD scholars sing the Mating, Wainena Pangu, and Mar research to buy with the Quina, Magi research technique, Amazon methodology, Japan Ragadi, Amber, my report. Type from the Sun Chatar, Gadi, Kogi, Academic Study, the Mahaudu, Warka Dry, and Aquina, Thoramazing, Asi, Aquina, Pangtok Savanian. Manipur People's Democratic Front condoles the demise of two individuals in two separate fighting incidents on December 18th and 24th. MPDF press release demands action against relevant authorities who issued license for guns to irresponsible persons. One day training come awareness program for farmers on the topic Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana PMFBY Cardiff season 2022-23 was organized by Horticulture and Soil Conservation Bishnupur at its office hall in Bishnupur today. About 30 farmers from the district attended a training come workshop program which was attended by Agriculture Officer of Horticulture and Soil Conservation Department, Sanjit Thong, Dr. Yu Supriya and District Officer of Horticulture and Soil Conservation, Bishnupur, S. Susila Chanu as resource persons. Experts attended to, to questions and queries raised by farmers. District Officer also presented cash award to Progressive Farmer and Farmer Award winner, Ning Thaujam Ingocha from Kumbi Terakha as encouragement during the program. Twelve-day Long Singju Festival 2022 kicks off today at Marching Polo Complex in Imphal East, Hangang today. The festival is being organized by Singju Yokatpa Lob Syol Imphal under the sponsorship of Ibu Dau Marjing Kubam Kanbalob Hingang. Yumnam Joy Mala, wife of Maud Minister Yumnam Kim Chan, chairperson of Singju Festival Committee, PB Mola Haikam Sita, wife of Social Welfare Minister Haikam Dingo. Thang Jampurni Mashi, wife of Wangkai MLA TH Arun and brand ambassador of festival and renowned singer actress Susmita Mangsatabam graced the opening program. Stalls run by Manipuris from Bangladesh and Tripura along with other stalls selling varieties of Singju are taking part in the Singju festival. Prescribed Cookie Revolutionary Army KNO KRA press not clarifies that Thangmilin Haukib alias Ronald had no hands in the arrest of Johnny Kongsai by a combined team of Bishnupur Police Commando and 10th Assam Rifles, as alleged by KNF Nhelun. A car really on the upcoming hot air balloon and para motors festival 2023 flagged off today from Kakaithil to Pubala. Manipur is holding the festival for the first time in Northeast at Bishnupur District's Pubala from February 11 to 17 next year. Flagging off the car rally, Chairman of Loktak Development Authority M. Ashni Kumar said, Aerosports like skydiving, hot air balloon and para motor are gaining popularity among youth in the state, he said. The festival is being held with the introduction of aero sports policy under the Prime Ministership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, stating that the aero sport festival will also promote the natural and scenic beauties of the state through aerial views. Amash Nikumar appealed for public support in making the festival a success. The festival will show feature rock show talent hunt, 
fashion show at food fair. Yal han ba no de siyo iba sumba festival ama koi fuwala da pangtong na ba same sabi saru amo ay nasi masigip promote tobo ay na nasigip sumba car rally si sinjabani hari ba sumba hot air balloons aduga aerosports at sumba aduga skydiving hayop na sumba si am na pam na ba masigip matamda maruwi na nahasing na am na pam na ba aduga sumba makali activity ng akta ni aduga barik yon nasu honorable prime minister na koi aerosports policy 2022 21 same kore aduga masigip sukay Sana ba hokre? Aduna hari ba activity area sports si koy tourism promote to bata kaya digi koy kudong saba adu kumba opportunity aman ni aduna Manipur gi amna pajaba koy loktak part adu ka topa associate wetlands adu ka barrel shop koy gi forest hill adu ka koy scenic beauty may am Manipur gi para kiti ni piba pajaba may am si kumba area sports kima ting na export to bata yamna line na thokpa adu ka pung singhan bay aba adu ka Barki atau atau pas state singgi mui sing, atau ka barki ma pandal iba atau atau pas country singgi mui ke ama, laka ni hebat kita tu mba thaja bersupir eh, atau nama si amna innovative oiba, atau mba mega iba nama, sukses show ini oiba, ngamlo kita muka, mana pun miam punya mana masih dah cooperation PB nama, aina apel tu jadi. Manipur State Cooperative Bank and Nabad Imphal jointly organized one day financial literacy awareness program at Saiton Gram Panchayat level multi-purpose cooperative society office in Bishnupur district. Resource persons stress on how to avail credit linkage, joint liability loan, KCC loan, animal husbandry loan and mudra loan and how to form self-help groups. Makay Showroom has once again launched a second Landscard store in Thangmai Ban today. Landscard is well known for its premium glasses and collection of frames. A production play titled Lo Sing Na Pangal Ni, performed by child artists, was showcased today at the Hall of Manipur Dramatic Union in Yaishkul, Imphal. The play was performed by child artists who participated in a theatre workshop organised by North East Zoned Cultural Centre and Department of Art and Culture from December 10 to 24th. In connection with these, Education as Director Elnanda Kumar says parents are now concentrating on extracurricular activities for the children and no school back day on every Saturday is initiated considering the same. He said plans to conduct culture class in schools on Saturdays are still on, even though COVID-19 pandemic has delayed the plan. On the other hand, Art and Culture Director Elke Shorchit stressed that the workshop was held with an objective to teach children about history, culture and tradition through non-formal education. I could give Matam Napor Pogi Matunina. I could give my chances to Tongan Tongan and Changes Lai. I'm the Dia Queen Anang Sinsi, Layton Tamagadi, Layton and Oga Atopa, among Tongan in Bugi, my chef to Layamde, Tobotabu, Aduki Matam Ludi Hope, Laytudagi and Oga, extra co curricular activities that we are now emphasized out of Yadi and I could instead come in a conservative. I could get Saturday Pumasi, no school back day and I could announce of the company. When I put his civilization, Makata, for how he put up. Tahu kira tu, dua pelajar sih nasi kelaga, makata ada, kau ini makau ini hari, kau ini samas ini kari kerja tu, tu bukan makat lagi. Samas ini sih, acah over role nama, leading role nama makau ini love pun, nama mana bagi, aduh ke capacity building ni acah over aduh nama foundation, apa ki aduh ke input sih nasi dunia kau ini theater kerja sih dah. Makau ini, kau sih kewer, kau ini muda bayar. Tahu kira tu, ni cara mana ni ki manunda, makau ini faham kira, makau ini faham kira, knowledge makau ini pay kira, information ni sih. One day they will realize in the future. A team of Rama Krishna Mission Babupura Imphal today distributed blankets to villages of Wonghon village in Ukrul and to Tangkul Kuki and Mitai people residing near the village as a part of its winter relief work 2022-23 which has been carried out in various districts of state. Secretary of Rama Krishna Mission Imphal Swami Devapriyananda Maharaj President of Managing Committee of Rama Krishna Mission Imphal P. Dhanakumar and member N. G. Lokendra led the team. In weather reports, India Meteorological Department predicts drop in temperature in the next two days in most northern states of the country. 
Rajasthan recorded a minimum temperature of 5 degrees Celsius, while Kashmir recorded minus 6.7 degrees Celsius. Drop in temperature was also recorded in Delhi, Haryana, Punjab, Bihar and Northeast states, including Manipur. Manipur received a rainfall of 9 mm in the past 24 hours. According to the report of ICAR Agrometeorological Centre, Lamphelpat, the state also recorded a minimum temperature of 9.9 .9 degrees centigrade in the same duration. Meanwhile, India Meteorological Department, Regional Meteorological Centre, Guwahati predicts rainfall in some parts of Chandel, Churchanpur and Firzol districts, one or two places in Ukrul, Zuriba, Bishnupur, Thaubal and Tegnopal districts today. State will have a dry weather tomorrow and the day after. Speaker of Manipur Legislative Assembly, Thakchom Satyabharta, conveys greetings to the people of Manipur, especially Maitai community, on the occasion of Imoinu Irat Thauni Numid, which falls on the 12th day of Wakching month in Manipur lunar calendar. Speaker Thakchom Satyabharta wishes peace and prosperity. Ubanglai Kanbalup Ukal and Utra Sanglin Sana Konung will jointly conduct Ima Imoinu Iratpa ritual at Ima Imoinu Shrine situated in Kaubru Hill on the 12th day of Manipur lunar month of Wakching. Press release from Ukal informs the ritual will be held under the initiative of the Dula King of Manipur, Lysimba Sana Chauba. And now the sports news. In second MNCA Women's One Day Cricket Trophy being played at Luang Pokpa Cricket Stadium, PTRC Patsoi Part 4 defeated. AKS Dio Kangabok by 227 runs. Put to bed first, PTRC Patsoi Part 4 set a target of 203 runs in a given 25 overs for the loss of just four wickets. RK Linthoi Ngambi met an unbeaten 49 runs, while Linthoi Ngambi Lajram contributing a handy 44 runs in the innings. In reply, AKS Dio Kangabok could manage only 76 runs in a given 25 overs for the loss of four wickets, thus losing the match by... 127 runs. PDRC Pasoy Part 4's all-rounder R.K. Linthoy Ngambi was adjudged a woman of the match for her unbeaten knock of 49 runs. In the next match to be played tomorrow, Tao Tamayban will take on PTCC Patsoi Part 3. Youth Organization Sporting Club YOSC condoles the demise of former president of Imphal East District Football Association and All Manipur Football Association CH Birendra IAS retired. Manipur Olympic Association also condoles the sudden demise of its former vice president CH Birendra IAS retired, who passed away on December 26. CH Birendra was chief demissioned of 31st National Games hosted by Punjab. Press release from MOA said the association held an immediate executive meeting wherein attendees observed a two-minute silence as a mark of respect to the departed soul. As WC Common defeated MMC Mongkang Lambi 3-1 in the today's 10th league match of the ongoing 6th Tingojam Ongbi Nganbi Debi Memorial football tournament organized by the Social Workers Congress Kongman. While in the 11th league match, Twinkle FC Moirang Puril and FFCC Angta ended in 1 1 2. 14 teams divided into four groups are competing in the league matches of the tournament. YBC Langdom will meet KSC Kongba in 12th league match, and ABA Ketriga will meet KHGA Kang Narok in the 13th league match tomorrow. Before we conclude, let's take a look at headlines once again. Congress Legislature Party leader Okrami Bobi expresses concern over decline in freedom of media and judiciary in India. Locals destroy poppy plantations on Pylon Mall Hill Range. Combined team also destroy poppy plantations at B. Gamnam and B. Kulen in Kangpoki District. And residents of Charangching Kunog village demand completion of road repair from Chandel Pali to Lengangchi. And that's all we have in this edition of the English Primetime Bulletin. Thank you for joining us. 
Coming up next is Prime Time Manipur Bulletin. For more news, you can also follow Impact TV on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Till then, good night and stay safe. Sri Sri Gaurachandraya Nama Prabhashram Da Akhoi Khoi Ki Irakta Tin Biramba Amadi All Manipur Road Transport Drivers and Motors Worker Union Gate and